Well, hi, thanks for joining me here at my shop. We're gonna carry on with this Motorola bullet-nosed radio. And uh, the last video, which was a few days ago now, ended up with this guy being a problem. Well, actually, it ended up with the string coming off over there, but we won't worry about the string right now. What to do about this guy? Well, let's see. One thing is, I have the schematic now. And the schematic actually shows them right there. That's not terribly helpful. Just drawing a box there and putting a label on it. But up here is the actual circuitry. Sorry about the focus there. I'll put it on the other camera in a moment. Uh, so you got the box here, the dotted box, and inside are all the components. And even though they're a little fuzzy on camera right now, you can tell there's quite a few of them uh, in there. Which is not good. Not good for me. So the question is, what should we do about that? Now, uh, I've already tried resoldering the uh, connections underneath. I don't think I did a very good job on it, frankly. I think that might be a good thing to try again. And uh, I suppose I could I could remove it entirely. Um, do something with it. I don't know. Clean it up a little better somehow. I don't really know. Put it back in. See if that makes a difference. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think I really want to start with uh, the easy things. I think the easiest thing is to... Uh, Resolder it again and try and do a little better job of it. Let's take a look at the solder uh, connections here. Yeah, they're not looking very good. Especially these, these two here. reflection. Anyway, I think the thing to do is to resolder those. Before we conclude that there's a defect right inside of it, there's a pretty good likelihood of that too. So this is not really what you want to have happen to your radio. Okay, now I get lots of comments on my soldering. Uh, yeah, I'm not proclaiming to be a star solderer. <laughs> there is such a thing. And obviously not too good on the camera either. Okay. full screen on my own computer here. Yikes. That's quite a picture.
going on with that one? Hey, what happened there? That sort of just came totally loose and seemed to fall through the hole. through the hole. <laughs> How could one of these come loose? A little hard to see that way. something that's kind of oh look at that just to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing that right there that pin looks like it's come off the back of this Boy, see if we can get in there for a look Well, and that's about as good as you can get. Let me do a little focus here. things happening to one of my microphones there when I do this. Well, what am I doing? Let me just put this back here, which must be gotten pretty weird stuff. Okay, so what's well, obvious to me, but I didn't notice, I noticed that now is there's a trace that goes to that pin on the top. trace there. It's coming over there for a reason and it's disconnected. As far as I can tell, this is really... How's that happen? There must be a whole chip out of the bottom corner there that I just can't get a good look at. Uh, the certainly screams don't bend me. I was thinking of bending this thing on its tabs bending it back, but considering what's happened on the corner here, I don't think that's a good idea. It doesn't look like it would fit back on. Oh, it slid upwards. 
Very right. It's fought, it fell through the hole, so it slid upward. So it's it's high on here. Right now. And it's just broken off the corner there. You know, so how could I get that back on? Poof. Oh, wow. Well, that says something, too, about letting too much heat come up. The, the pins of these things. I just have this vague notion that this piece was already broken off. Um, because I think I saw it, and I, 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 I noticed it earlier, but I just, you know, it just didn't really register what I was seeing. Sure has registered now. could remove the whole thing at this point. Try to somehow reattach that. Stick the whole thing back. Oh, boy, that's just, you know, to me that's fraught with difficulties. Uh, removing any multi-pin anything is difficult. The other way is to try to, to uh, reattach that terminal. So I'd have to sink it back down to the right position and lay it up against it. Lay it up against that. Uh, lay it up against here. Wow. Um, I think it, it slipped some solder in there somehow. Hoping that any gap there is between the uh, that terminal metal plate thing hanging out there and whatever it is it's supposed to be in contact with in the uh, package. I just hope to tack it back on. Well, I guess another way would be to abandon the pin completely and take a piece of wire and somehow because somehow wire would be easier putting wire in there. Huh. Another one would be figure out what that pin is doing. Yeah, let's get smarter. Let's figure out what the pin is doing. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's a nothing pin. It's nothing. Oops, oops, way too much clicking there. Okay. So we're looking at the package. Pin numbering is one, two, three, four, eight, five, seven. Okay, figure that one out also. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one, two, three, four, eight, five, seven. And if that's not an eight, that's a six. That's probably a six. Six, five, seven. How can it be? <sighs> Boy, if you're really tempted to say, well, I don't care about those anyway, because I'm working about either number seven or number one. Okay, it's clearly this end. It's not pin number one. Pin number one. Okay, so we'll go up here. And, uh, we'll try and spot pin number one. That's five. Seven. That looks like one. Wait a minute, that's the uh, tube numbers. Uh, over here are the other numbers. Uh, eight, no, maybe six, and one. That's clearly one. One going right to the grid. Ah, this radio's not going to work without it, that's for sure. So we got to make a connection to pin one. And where's it going down here? It's going. It's a capacitor. 
I think I can build this stuff outside. I mean, just replace the, just build it outside. Because all this really is here, let's see, is it? Inside's a 0 .005 capacitor. I could take a 0 .005 capacitor from here, from this point, right up to there. Right up to that tube. I could do that. We'll leave the rest of it just like it is. We'll just stick a capacitor in there, 0 .005. We'll leave this coming down here. How is it any different? How is it any different? Don't answer that question. <laughs> I don't want to know that's different. I think I've got a solution here. A real simple thing. It's really, really simple. 0 .005 capacitor from the... Uh, uh, slider of the potentiometer up to the grid of the 12 EV6. Yeah, really, that sounds really easy. That sounds too easy. That's why I keep going over. It sounds too easy. Normally, my uh, these problems are not that easy. This is easy. Well, I'm claiming it's easy right now before I discover it isn't. So. So there's the volume control right there. Here, let's just let's do this. Okay, so from from the underside of the board, you just kind of look. You can see the circle here of the tube in question, and there's the pins of the package here. And this is the one that's causing trouble. Now you see there's no trace coming from it under here because the trace is on top. So you can see the traces coming underneath here. And you can see traces underneath here reaching the two pins, but not this one. This one has no trace going to it, and this has no trace going to it. And that's because the trace is on the other side of the board going right across here. So this is where we want to uh, connect the capacitor, basically from here to here, which is the same as from here to here. We can't do it underneath here though. It has to be done up above. Because there's no there's no room. And this is back in the radio, there's no clearance here. That's part of the challenge now. So this terminal is available. Uh, it's available. Doesn't, it doesn't connect to the, to, to the uh, package anymore. I can bend it away and connect the capacitor. And so, so this just goes to the pin of the tube. So here's the pin of the tube. Connect the capacitor from here. It just has to come to here. So you just lay it on the board there and bring the leads across to here. Solder it in. Right there. That sounds really easy. That sounds miraculously easy. Okay, let's make a miracle happen here. <laughs>